Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for March 26th. March 26th is the 85th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 86th in leap years, with 280 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is fusty. Fusty is an adjective that means saturated with dust and stale odors, or even impaired by age or dampness. Something that is fusty might also be called musty and might be moldy. Another meaning for the word fusty is rigidly old-fashioned. The word fusty is believed to have come from a Middle English word that meant wine cask, from a Latin word that meant tree trunk or wood. Wine that had been in the cask too long might become stale and was said to have taken on the taste of the cask. By and by, anything that went stale, especially if it were damp or moldy, came also to be described as fusty. That meaning then evolved to cover anything that had lost its freshness or interest, so anything old-fashioned might also be described as fusty. First known use of the word fusty is back in the 1300s. Fusty. Today's word fusty was suggested by YouTube viewer Adela Jones at Adela Jones 9887. Thanks, Adela. And remember, if you have a word you'd like us to examine in this Word of the Day segment, drop it in the comments. We'll take a look at it. And with that, on March 26th in the year 590, Emperor Maurice proclaimed his son Theodosius as co-emperor of the Byzantine Empire. The Byzantine Empire is also referred to as the Eastern Roman Empire, or Byzantium, whose capital was Constantinople at the time, now Istanbul. Anyway, Maurice proclaimed his eldest son Theodosius co-emperor in the year 590, when Theodosius will have been somewhere around seven to nine years old. They ruled together for about 12 years. Those were volatile times, though, and in the year 602, a political rival of Emperor Maurice's murdered Maurice, age 63, and Theodosius, who was somewhere between 16 and 19 years old. The 26-year war that followed was the final and most devastating series of wars between the major power factions of that part of the world, exhausting human and material resources on all sides and achieving very little. On March 26, 1812, a political cartoon in the Boston Gazette coined the term gerrymander to describe oddly shaped electoral districts designed to help incumbents win re-election. <laughs> The term gerrymandering is named after Elbridge Gerry, who, as governor of Massachusetts in 1812, signed a bill that created a partisan district in the Boston area that was compared to the shape of a mythological salamander. The term has negative connotations, and gerrymandering is almost always considered a corruption of the democratic process. The resulting district is also known as a gerrymander, and the word can be used as a verb for the process of gerrymandering. March 26 has been another great day for birthdays, particularly in the last century and a half, and I mentioned several of them along with other things that happened on March 26 throughout the years in other episodes. I'll leave a link if you'd like to check any of those out. Today's song is Rich Girl by Daryl Hall and John Oates. Released in February of 1977, Rich Girl would become their first of six number one singles on the Billboard Hot 100. The inspiration for this song is based on an interaction with a bizarrely behaved, spoiled rich kid. <laughs> rich Girl by Daryl Hall and John Oates, number one for the first of two weeks on March 26, 1977. Link in the description. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page that's called No Really. <laughs> You can also find me on Rumble, a bit shoot, and Odyssey. All those links in that description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.
This is the birthday. I didn't get that. Could you try again? I wasn't talking to you. Me and my mouth. <laughs> John, me are you kidding me? Okay, hold on. We got to make that be quiet. You got to read what's, read the black part. <laughs> Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for, oh, where's your microphone? Okay. We don't want to say the same thing twice. Oh, get your microphone. <laughs> what is it with you and this microphone? Okay, here we go. Okay, we are still recording. That's great. Okay. How about that? <laughs> well, I have a lot to edit today. Cacophony is a sound. <laughs> Cacophony is a noun that you got to read it the right way. Let's start over. <laughs> <laughs> it's eight o'clock so all of the reminders are going to be dinging i forgot to turn those off <laughs> okay stop it don't alienate people who can be helpful to you flinging happiness all over the place all right back to work I think we got it this time. <laughs>